Hi, um, it's Mike. So, after teaching for a long time, um, I've thought about one of the things that makes math hard uh, for students. And one of the things that I think makes math hard for students uh, is understanding what is understood. I mean, have you ever uh, been talking with somebody and had them saying one thing, but you're hearing something completely different? Um, well, I think that that's part of the problem with mathematics uh, for a lot of students. And so, um, today I wanted to talk about that. Um, in particular, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, how to operate a, a calculator because, of course, every self-respecting uh, college students should know how to operate a calculator so let's talk about how to do that and 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 let's go back to the thought of uh, understanding what is understood so for instance um, if you have parentheses uh, in your equation like you're going to do uh, three uh, parentheses two mm, times six plus three close parentheses now in this sentence of course there's an understood per multiply here isn't there okay the other thing is that would have been understood is there's an understood one up here to the power of this parentheses it's understood to be over that there's also underneath all of this an understood one is there as well isn't there so there's a lot of things that can be, quote, written down that are understood to be there, but you may not see them. Another one that's a classic is, what about this? What is this? Now, of course, this isn't a long division sign. This is a square root sign, and so this would be 2. Your calculator will give you 2 if you do this correctly, okay? But there's um, two roots to it. There's a positive and a negative root. The calculator is never going to tell you that negative root. The thing here that's understood was there was an understood two there by the radical. Did you know that? I mean, so for instance, could you do radical three of eight? Now, of course, this should be two as well. Okay, but this time it is not going to be negative two. It only can be positive two, can't it? All right. At any rate, this is the beginning of some of the stuff I wanted to show you on uh, how to use your calculator and how to uh, and understanding what's understood in a mathematical sentence. Um, so the next thing I'd like to talk about here uh, and, and t think about is, of course, the order of operations. What if you have five? Subtract um, 5 times 2. That was 8 times minus 5 times 2, sorry. Of course, the answer here should be, uh, what? 8 minus 5 is 3, and then 3 times, it should be 6. What? I don't think so. Now, of course, the answer comes with, if you just type this back in uh, to your calculator, the way it was written don't forget to hit equals by the way and make sure on the subtract sign that you don't use the negative sign but the subtract sign there's a difference there's a difference okay at any rate you should find both of those buttons so that um, you know where they are. Of course, uh, what you'll end up having here is Hello. <laughs> so, uh, here's a question for you. What if you're going to be confronted with a problem like this? Okay, where we have this whole monster. Okay, oh my goodness. What am I going to do to type this into my calculator? Why does it matter? Um, well, there are some things here that do matter. There's an understood times here. But the understood thing that's hard to see that's understood is there was an understood 
parentheses around the bottom there. Did you understand that when you did all this stuff on the top, after you do that, when you hit divide by it, you needed to open a new set of parentheses because they were understood to be there uh, at any rate. So see if you can figure out what the answer to this is and then um, try to calculate the answer, okay? And, and then try it on your own because I'm gonna go over the answer here but and we'll talk about a method for solving that. But try it now, stop the movie right now and, and try this on your own to see what you get. Okay, so here comes the solution. The first thing we'll notice is that parentheses on the bottom. And you'll notice that I'm also taking pretty good notes. But since there was that understood parentheses on the bottom, it's going to be 11, isn't it? Okay, we'll have that five times because we can't mess with that right now. But I am ready to mess with the parentheses up here. Now, how do you do this? Oh my gosh, you're going to have to find the... the carrot button okay or the x squared button okay but if you do that then you should be able to get this uh, 4 squared pretty easy of course we know that's 16 uh, and then you go subtract 6 uh, well that would be 10 and then 10 plus 1 would be equal to 11 wouldn't it this answer is clearly going to be 5, isn't it? Now, it ended up I didn't need my calculator to do that, but you should be using your calculator to do this. The next thing you should be watching is, do you see how I broke it down into steps in order to get the final answer? This is a very important thing, how you write down your sentence, and then you use steps to get to your answer. Okay, good luck.